Hello and welcome to Avatar Builder. In this video, I'm going to give you a complete tour of everything on offer in the app. And we're going to go step by step and create your first video. So after you've logged into the app, you'll be on the main dashboard, will be the latest news. We want to create a video. Click create video. We're taken to step one, choose our video type. Now these are all the different types of videos included in the app. For example, in the box text category, we have three different styles of box text. We have typewriter with two styles, isometric text, cursor brush, neon. In any of these, you can hover, get a quick little preview, see what they're gonna look like. Now let's choose the lines fade in style. So we click and go on to the next step. Step two, choose template. Now there's 200 different niches included in the app, appliance repair, bakery, beauty salon, car rental. Each one of these niches comes with a custom background image and a script already written for you. There's also a blank canvas option. And this lets you start from scratch, create anything that you like. Now we can filter this down. We can choose a specific industry if we want to see only the health care related ones we can reset this and we can do a search let's see like what all the car related ones are but let's choose this first one ac installation we can also click and get a little preview to see what it's going to look like but we'll be able to customize this further so we'll select, and now we're on step three, choose avatar. You can see we have a wide variety, different avatars to choose from. You can click the preview tab to kind of see what some of their animations look like. You can see some of these avatars have a little drop down. Now with the agency upgrade, you're able to save your customizations that you make to the avatar. It's gonna come up in step seven here. So you can quickly reuse him. So I've pre-configured him with a blue suit. You can see he kind of changed a blue suit and a shaved head. We'll put him back to his default. Now one last thing to notice, some of the avatars can be customized with your logo or any image. For example, Aaron here has a clipboard. So there's a DD that can have your logo on it. Says the little your logo here icon. We have some more. We have a bag. We have Laura's dress. We have a bag, a box. So these can be personalized, and we'll see that when we get to step seven. So let's pick Aaron and go on to the next step. Step four choose voice or text to speech. Now, if you have the agency upgrade, the default is going to be the ready made voiceover. Now this is a professionally recorded voiceover. Are you looking for a local reliable and a... And we can use that. Or we can use text to speech. And here we can see the exact same script from the ready-made voiceover. We also have the option to customize it. So we can insert in a business name or a phone number. We can personalize this. And it's going to be generated with a text to speech voice. Now we choose that voice over here. Bunch of different voices. We can play each one, hear what they're gonna sound like. Now some voices come with the Voice Pro upgrade. See, we also have different languages. So we can have our avatar speak in Russian if we want. There'll be different voices. And we have an auto translate button that'll convert our English script into whatever the language of the voice. Change this to Matthew. Let's try this out. Are you looking for a local, reliable, and affordable air conditioning installation? We also have some sliders here. Speed and pitch. We can make it speak slower or faster, higher or lower. And all of these voice options can add a background track. This is going to be some music under our video. If we check this box, you can see we have a library of built-in royalty-free tracks. We can play one. We find one we like, we can select it. We also have the option 
to go into our library and upload any track we have on our PC. Now, one really cool feature is we can balance this to make sure our music doesn't overpower our voice track. We've got a slider for the background music, a slider for the voice. We can play them together with this button. Are you looking for a local, reliable, and affordable air conditioning installation? Do you need AC installed in your residential or commercial location? Get it perfectly balanced. So that was text to speech, ready made voiceover. Let's look at record audio. Now, this lets us record our own voice within the web browser. Just hit record and stop when we're done. Pretty simple. And one final option with the agency upgrade, speech to text. Here, we can go into our library and upload our own audio file that we've had professionally recorded for us or that we've recorded ourselves, upload it into the app. We need to make sure we choose the language that our voice is in because it's gonna use speech to text to generate our script from our voice file. Let's go back to ready-made voiceover and go to the next step. So step five, text position. Now this is taking our script that came from the last step and splitting it up into the different slides of our final video. Now generally, we don't really need to do anything here, but if you wanted to tweak something, move a couple words around, you could. There's limits to how many characters each slide can have, you can delete a slide hitting the X, you can add additional slide, but generally you don't wanna make big changes here. You would have wanted to have done that in the previous step where you entered in your script. Here you can also choose the default font for your presentation. Let's go to the next step, video settings. Now this step is gonna vary based on which video type you selected, because different video types will have different options. Recall we picked that template that had the boxes with the lettering on top, and we can customize the color of that text, choose the color, white, and we can choose the color of the box. So instead of black, let's say we wanted to instead make it red. And finally, we have company logo. Now this is different than the logo on the avatar. There's a little logo that's gonna appear in the bottom right corner of your video, kind of like a watermark. So we're gonna upload, grab this from my gallery. I'm gonna upload a file. Let's grab a generic logo file here. Select, there we go. On to the next step. Customize your avatar. Now, as you can see, there's a ton of things we can customize. First, let's start out with the logo. Since this avatar supports a logo, we can upload, grab an image. You can see it added it to his clipboard. Again, only some avatars support logos. We can clear this if we want to remove it. Now let's go over to the right here. We have a bunch of switches, colors, so we can change his hairstyle. We can give him a shaved head three different hairstyles. Pick the one we'd like. Clean shaven. We've got two different styles of beard. Can take off his coat. And then each one of these options also have a color. For example, we can change his pants. Let's make them purple. Okay, maybe not. But brown. That's a little better. Let's make his coat match. You can see we're going to change all kinds of stuff. We can change his fingernails, his eyebrows, color of his folder, his buttons, his belt, his shoes. Give him black shoes. We can change his skin tone. Maybe give him a little bit of a tan. Now with the agency upgrade, we can actually save this brown suit, save this outfit, so I can come back later and quickly select it in the choose avatar step. I don't have to customize this again. So we're happy here. We go on to the next step. Step eight, create your video. Now a quick note, as you're working through the wizard, it's generating these previews in the background. Now, if you come to the wizard, really fast, they may not be ready yet. 
have a little bit of text up here saying preview text in progress. And it'll just be plain gray text. And then shortly after, the text will pop in with our proper effect. Remember, we chose that black text effect. We customize it to red. But also, you don't have to wait for that. We could continue on, run out our video, even while those previews are still generated. Okay, so this is our scene editor. So right now, we're starting out on scene one. We can choose different scenes by clicking them on this bottom strip here. And it displays in the preview window. You notice our little company logo in the lower right corner that we set on the earlier step. We have the text for this slide here. If we wanted to, we can make a last minute change. We can adjust this text. Now it's not gonna appear in this pre-rendered image, but it will appear in the final video. Same goes for the font. Now below the video, we have the avatar position. You notice this slide doesn't have an avatar. The other ones do, that's because this is set to none. We set this to right, he pops back up. Now because this is a logo avatar, he can only appear on the right, but other avatars, they could appear left, right, or none. We also have the option of a close-up. If I uncheck this, it goes to a full body shot. Close up, and we can click on each scene and make adjustments. So I can change that. So we want that one none. We also have the option to apply to all. For example, if we wanted all of these scenes to be just like this, on the right close up, we can apply to all. You can see they all update the entire timeline. Now we can also make adjustments to the media in the slide. Now this video template has a background image, and this is the image that came with our niche, our AC related background here, but we can change this to anything we'd like. Come over here and hit upload to open our gallery. Now we can either upload an image from our PC, but let's take a look at these other options. Pixabay, Pixels, and Jump Story. These are online databases with millions of images and videos royalty free that we can use in our projects. Now, Jump Story is a part of the Elite Upgrade. Now, another really cool feature of the Elite Upgrade is background removal. Now, that'll work on any of these three services or even files that you've uploaded yourself. Let's come in here. Let's search for a picture. Let's say of a woman. Let's click on this. See, we have this ocean background, but if we click remove background, It's gone. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at one more thing we can do. Crop. Now this will let us get just a select piece of the video that we want. We can also rotate the image and zoom in and zoom out. Get just the piece that we want and save it. Let's cancel out of this, out of this. Now, in addition to images, we also have the option to add videos to our backgrounds. For example, we can have a nice nature scene of a forest. But for this template, let's just get an image for our air conditioning template. Choose this one, and it's added to the slide. Now, if we wanted to add this to all of our slides, we can just hit apply all, and it's done. Now, also depending on our video type, some will have special options here. For example, in this box text, we can adjust the width, make it all fixed, so they're all equal length. We'll just leave this, and let's come back to the strip on the bottom, with all of our different slides. See the slides all numbered with their duration. There's a play button to hear the audio behind the slide. Again, choosing it lets us edit that specific slide. And finally, we can set up the transitions between each slide. By clicking here, you can see we have six different transitions. Fade out, scale down, slide down, slide up. As you hover, you can kind of get a little preview 
what it's gonna look like. For example, we want to do a fade out. Now we can apply this to all. And I'll put the transition in between each of the scenes. And now when we're happy here, we hit next. And we're on the last step, finalize video. All we have to do is give our video a name. And we choose a resolution. Now with the agency upgrade, we can render in full HD, 1080p, create video. And we're taken to the My Videos tab automatically. You can see here's my brand new video. We just started rendering. There's our previous video that I've already made. Let's take a look at what we can do here. You can see we can download this video, save it to our PC. We can delete the video. We can preview the video. Are you looking for a local reliable and affordable air conditioning installation? And finally, if we have a bunch of different videos in our account, we can use the search box to quickly find them by the title. Now that's everything you need to know to make your first video. Let's finish up our tour by taking a look at the last couple sections in the app. We have the My Purchases tab. When we check here, these are all the products in the app, all the different upgrades. You'll have a checkbox next to the ones you own and clicking the access button, it's gonna take you to the members page where you can get additional training specific to that feature. Now, if you don't have an upgrade, there'll be an info button and that'll take you to the page where you can order it. We have a support link, we have the language of the website. Here is my account name. If we click this arrow, we can log out or we can check our account settings. And here we can change our name, change our phone number, or reset our account password. And that's it, that's everything you need to know to make your first video. And check out the other videos on this page for some more advanced training. Thanks for watching.